How's it going guys? Today, I'm gonna to be installing a Tesla wall connector in my garage. It's a 220 volt car charging system. Let's get started. Okay, well, after you get it uh, unboxed, I guess the first thing you do is take it apart so you can get to the inside. See, you'll need a quarter inch drive for the uh, torque bit that they supply and take the bottom screw off the bottom. There. Pop off, but they tell you, you gotta, you gotta pry it off here a little bit. A little weird. You gotta take it easy and just kinda, there you go. All right, the larger torque bit they give you, take off the six screws. Now you have to use this because it's got a security, you can't see it, but it's got a pin. These screws have a pin in them and a regular torque fit that will not uh, go in. You better, better keep track of this little bit. If you ever have to do any work on it, you can. So there's six screws here. I think it's very well built. It's got this is plastic, but the body is, uh, is metal. This pops right off. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Got your, uh, looks like a nice LED uh, circuit board there. Pretty serious looking uh, board there. Got your uh, line one and two here. And a ground down here. There's your dip switches and your uh, rotary switch for your voltage setting. Your wires can come in from top. That's what you would use this. I'm just going to come in from the bottom. I already obviously uh, did a little testing and I put a, uh, my one inch conduit fitting in there. Screwed it right in. It comes with threads and this is steel. And it threads right in. What you need is this wall plate. You screw that into the wall. And then this sits right into it, and there's four screws, so that flush mount, flush mounts right there, and there's actually even rubber protectors there, or covers for the screws. So you can put this wherever you want. I'm just going to wood screw it right to the stud with two screws there. At Home Depot, even though this is a 30 year old box, they found double, they call them, uh, they're one inch thick for two breakers, for a double pole breaker. So I got two double pole breakers, I put them in place of that double wide breaker, right there. So now I got an extra double pole 220 volt circuit. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Maybe I'll even paint this. I decided to go with the Tesla factory theme. What the hell? Let's see how it looks. There's two 120 volt lines coming from the street and they alternate the pads. So you end up with 220 volt and that's what we're gonna use to feed the charger. So uh, three eight gauge wires requires a one inch conduit. I wanna run EMT, electrical metallic tubing, and it's one inch, it comes out to be one inch. So I go to Home Depot, I don't have a one inch bender, I'll just turn the other way. Bottom line is I bent the one inch pipe, all mudded and painted decently, better than it was, kind of a, Kind of a Tesla factory theme. Red and white, pretty cool. Okay, uh, here's my conduit that I pre-bent before I bought it. Cash register guy got a kick out of that. Uh, 
So I only had a few choices here. I only had one knockout in my box, so I figured I'd use that. And then this is where the top of the conduit came up. So my, uh, my charge is gonna be a little on the high side, but that's okay. I'm tall, I like it. I'll be able to see it over the car when it's in the garage. So uh, yeah, that's what I plan on doing. And I've already got one hole started for my my mounting back plate, so I'm going to just zip that in. And I'm going to, I'm going to get this nice and level. Yeah, I'm going to tip that a little bit this way. Oop, too much. Right there, it's perfectly level that way. I like to flip the level around. same on both sides and I've got my other deck mate I'm going to use them right in the stud here Man, I can't go wrong with those things that is solid now for the fun part this should simply Lock and load. Got a screwdriver right here. One. Let's get one in. It'll hold itself. Should I paint this? Should I paint this red and white? Make it go away? Very nice drape around there. That's how that stores. I've got two, enough for two, uh, two blacks and a green. You, you, you cock it and you put the screw in there and then it holds it, see? You gotta have earth, you gotta have potential earth, P.E. Probably gonna be a pretty boring video. Here in, ja in Chinese, hmm. These dip switches. It says the function number one and two. There's two dip switches. Number one is the wiring line to neutral. We don't have that. I've got two hot lines. So it says down. Number one dip switch is down, which is the far left one. You want that to be down, which it is. I think it came that way. And number two is communication. Normal and latency, or legacy. It's up for normal, which is what it came from the factory. I'm gonna leave that there. I'm not too sure what legacy is. Okay, then you got your switch. Then you got your rotary switch, which we know we're at 40 amps is eight. So I gotta dial this to eight. You almost need a jeweler's screwdriver for this. Okay, there's a little arrow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we're gonna plug in our, our LED system. There's a, uh, there's a key there, there's a key, so it can only go one way. Okay, now you need your six tamper-resistant screws. Ta-da! There's only one thing left to do. Put this on from the top. That just kind of snaps in. Snaps one little screw left that goes in the bottom. And then, uh, rubber things. It make the, uh, da, 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 da. if it doesn't fit one way, then try it the other. Oh yeah, pops right in nicely that way. They uh, completely cover up the screws on the side. Yeah, it's just for looks. What's left to do now? Nothing. But this is the favorite part of everything, right? <laughs> oh, one more thing. Let's turn the power on. 
Make sure nothing fries. Power on. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that green light? I think that's, I assume that's a good thing. I don't know. Looks like it's waiting. What's it waiting for? It's waiting for a car. That would be ideal if I had a car to plug this into. Anyway, I think that looks a lot nicer. It's cleaned up and neat and it looks good. I've got my, my car charger, my Tesla car charger, all ready to go. More on that next time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, subscribe, like, comment below, whatever you like. Uh, it's enjoyable, it's fun to make these videos. Uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.